the old but, gig that yeah, called but, Baru Paul. Wait, was it like, has it been 10 years? Do you remember the first question you asked me when I was on your show? <laughs> it was, nope. Oh, let me remind you. Tim Robbins is an actor and producer who is famous for his acting talents and for his activism. A man with liberal political views often chooses films that promote liberty and civil rights for all. The son of an actor and a musician, he developed an early interest in show business. He was a member of his school drama club and started doing theater when he was 12. As a teenager, he spent many years in the annual Summer Street Theater at Theater for the New York City and played the leading role in The Little Prince. He gradually began his professional acting career as a television actor. He set his eyes on entering Hollywood and started doing minor roles in films. Bill Durham got him noticed and helped to propel his career to great heights. It was, nope, let me remind you. It's a lot, there were a lot of guests, I'm sorry about that. I know. Yeah, what was the first guest? It, what was the question? You said, uh, what was it like to work with Clint Eastwood and why do you hate our troops? Hello everyone, welcome back to Net Worth Now where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. His full name is Timothy Francis Robbins, also known as Nuke. He was born on October 16, 1958, in West Covina, California, United States, making him around 62 years old at the time of this production. He stands at 196 centimeters, or six feet, five inches tall. Robbins is an avid baseball and ice hockey fan. He supports the New York Mets and the New York Rangers and frequently attends the games. In 1995, Robbins did a series of promos for MSG Network advertising upcoming Rangers games and had narrated a documentary on the 1969 Mets, or SNY. Robbins opposed the 2003 invasion of Iraq. In 2003, a 15th anniversary celebration of Bull Durham at the National Baseball Hall of Fame was canceled by Hall of Fame President Dale Petrosky. Robbins supported Ralph Nader's 2000 presidential campaign and appeared in character as Bob Roberts during the Nader Rocks the Garden rally at Madison Square Garden. In December 2007, Robbins campaigned for Senator John Edwards in the 2008 U.S. presidential election. He made critical statements against Hillary Clinton and the DLC while introducing Bernie Sanders at the 2016 campaign stop. In 1988, Robbins began a relationship with actress Susan Sarandon whom he met on the set of Bull Durham. They have two sons, John, Jack Henry, and Miles Robbins. Surrounded like Robbins, is a lapsed Catholic, and they share liberal political views. Robbins' relationship with Sarandon ended in December 2009. He married Gracilia Brancusi on February 1st, 2017, and they split on January 1st, 2020. News of the marriage was kept private until Robbins filed for divorce in January 2021. Way. So the second time I was on the show, you know, I don't know you're all familiar with that show, but whenever Stephen would come out, make his entrance, he would high-five the audience. Robbins was born to Mary Cecilia, a musician, and Gilbert Lee Robbins, a singer-actor and manager of the Gaslight Cafe. Robbins has two sisters, Adele and Gabrielle, and a brother, composer David Robbins. He was raised Catholic. He moved to Greenwich Village with his family at a young age while his father pursued a career as a member of a folk music group, The Highwaymen. Robbins started performing in theater at age 12 and joined the drama club at Stuyvesant High School. He spent two years at SUNY Plattsburgh and then returned to California to study at the UCLA Film School, graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in drama in 1981. He began his acting career as a television actor in 1982. He played the role of the domestic terrorist Andrew Reinhardt in three episodes of the television show Saint Elsewhere. He also did guest appearances in television programs. During the mid-1980s, he started doing minor roles in films like Toy Soldiers, 
Fraternity Vacation in 1985, and Top Gun in 1986. His significant role was in the highly forgettable flop film Howard the Duck in 1986, which almost threatened to end his career. He first got noticed for his performance in the romantic sports comedy Bull Durham in 1988, in which he played the character of the rookie pitcher Nuke. The movie was a commercial as well as a critical success. He turned into director and screenwriter with his 1992 film Bob Roberts. The film was a satirical mockumentary about the life of Bob Roberts, a right-wing conservative politician who is running for the U.S. Senate election. The film was based on a short segment of the same name that Robbins did earlier for Saturday Night Live. He starred along with Morgan Freeman in the drama film Shawshank Redemption in 1994. The movie was adapted from the novella Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption by Stephen King and told the story of an innocent man who is wrongly accused of murdering his wife and lover. The movie received highly positive reviews. He wrote and directed the crime drama film Dead Man Walking in 1995, which had Susan Sarandon and Sean Penn in leading roles. It revolves around sister Helen Prejean, who has a special relationship with a prisoner on death row. In 1999, he wrote, produced, and directed the drama film Cradle Will Rock that chronicles the events surrounding the production of 1937 musical The Cradle Will Rock by Mark Blitzstein. He starred in the 2003 drama film Mystic River, which also had actors like Sean Penn, Kevin Bacon, and Emmy Rossum. The movie was based on Dennis Lehane's novel of the same name. The movie won several Academy Awards. He appeared in a Spanish film, The Secret Life of Words, in 2005, in which he played a burn victim, Yosef, who is temporarily blinded by an oil rig fire, and his relationship with his taciturn nurse, Hannah. He was a part of the main cast of the HBO drama film Cinema Verite, a fictionalized account of the production of an American family, which is considered one of the earliest shows of the reality television genre. His role in Mystic River was highly appreciated, and he won several awards and accolades for this. He portrayed a victim of childhood sexual abuse who is haunted by his experiences even after he grows up into a seemingly normal adult. He produced and directed the critically acclaimed crime drama film Dead Man Walking, which told a story of a prisoner on death row who is accused of killing a teenage couple and the profound relationship he forms with sister Helen Prejean. He won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in his portrayal of Dave Boyle in Mystic River in 2003. He also won the Broadcast Film Critics Association Award and Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actor, Motion Picture for Best Supporting Actor for the same role. Right. right. Yeah. So I thought, well, you know what? Why does he, why is he the only one that gets to do that? So, uh, Jim, do you have a clip of what happened that night? While his annual salary is estimated to be around ten million dollars, he still makes around one million for his role as Andy DeFrenzi in the 26-year-old movie The Shawshank Redemption. As of 2021, he is estimated to be worth eighty million dollars. Robbins and his ex-wife, Susan Sarandon, owned a lavish house in Chelsea. The total worth of this house is more than $6 million. After their breakup, Susan paid almost $3.2 million to Robbins to get the complete ownership of the house. Nowadays, Robbins' primary residence is an impressive, lavish mansion in Venice, California. The lavish mansion has outstanding architecture and houses some breathtaking facilities. The estimated price of this property is worth about $5 million. In his garage, you will find a Ford Maverick, a Toyota Land Cruiser, a Range Rover, a Mercedes-Benz SL55 AMG, and an Audi Q7. 